Hey, and thanks for coming back to see another education series. This one's number six. And what we want to talk about today is the biggest mistakes that first time home buyers make. Um, probably the biggest mistake you can make is assuming you can't get it pre-approved. And it's very confusing, especially when you go out on the web, you Google, you know, some guidelines and things like that, and you find, you know, multiple information or, or things that just contradict each other. So let's get started. I want to explain, and I'll explain these in, in detail here right now. So you might think, you know, what is the minimum credit score you need to get pre-approved? Great question. This person asked that. They have a 654 credit score. I got this right online. So if you want to Google it, you can find it. It's public record. Um, they get a response from somebody saying 600. Whoa. Then they get a response down here, and it says 580. Hmm. Then they get a response here, 600. What is it? Don't know. So it can be very confusing. The next thing is, is there a specific rate? Let's say you want to qualify for a mortgage. You know, what's the rate? What's the fees? It's not one standard fee. A lot of people do think that, that, you know, a, a mortgage on a 30-year term is X. It varies widely. So do the fees. Easy isn't always the best thing for you. So, you know, those the online um, places that you just click, 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 click very expensive. But let's go through this. Again, this is going to be very confusing. Over here, you got to take a lot of this with a grain of salt. This is marketing. They have to be able to be able to get this to you. Probably 99% of the time, you're not going to get that. So let's see this place. The rate is 3.653. Fees, $818. Okay. This one is 3.655. Odd. You go down here, this one is $3.949, $2,000 in fees. Wow, huge difference. This is why I suggest people use mortgage brokers, and this is what I do. I've been in the business for over almost 30 years now. Um, I elect to be a broker. Main reason is I can help a lot of people, and I truly mean help. I work for you. I do not work for the bank. What I want to do next is... Go show you a website that I just went into, and let's go into here. Let me save this. I went into, I was looking at closing costs. This is another thing. The video we went through right before this, we went over interest rates. Now let's look at this program. I went to Bank of America. You can do this. Just Google it or put in bankamerica.com. I have a, let's say we're going to get a $200,000 purchase price, 30-year term. We're going to put 5% down. It doesn't give us any lower options such as FHA, VA, or anything, so let's just go with it. Fixed rate, I'm going to put in my zip code here at the office, and I'm going to click Calculate, and let's see what the fees come to. Yikes. So, Points and lender fees. You're going to pay Bank of America over $2,000 in fees um, just for their services. In most cases, my fees here are zero. So just getting out of the gate, I can save you $2,000. Um, and then you can see their bottom line here is almost $9,000. So again, it can be very confusing. I know that. You want to find a an experienced loan or mortgage person that has multiple rates and programs for you that knows what they're doing and has experience and has done this a long time. Um, again, that's why I am a mortgage broker, have been so for almost 30 years. I shop for you. The bank pays me a fee because they do, they do not have to pay a loan officer inside. For example, Bank of America, their loan officer, I'm sure, is getting a salary, getting benefits, getting a commission on your loan, so forth. They pay me a set percentage of the loan amount. It is not affected on rate. So if you'd like to uh, you know, check out my services or what I can do for you, or at least shop or compare what you have now, please reach out to me. Best way to get me is 630-338-1160, or you can reach me at dan.frio, it's D-A-N dot F-R-I-O at gmail.com, or check me out on the web at themortgageupdate.net. Thank you so much for watching.